hate insects and creepy crawlies. <laughs> Yuck, Yuck. Because, especially the ones that fly around your face and land in your hair. They're Ugh. not as bad as the ones like wasps and bees that sting you. Well, our next guest absolutely loves insects. In fact, she loves them so much, she wrote a song about one of them. Here's Laura Imbruglia to perform her song, Cicada. Come first interested in music? Um, probably um, as a kid, my parents played not much good music, but I like the Carpenters, which most people think is not good, but it's cheesy sort of music. So, <laughs> like this picture down yes. here? I brought this along for um, so you understand the sort of music my parents got me into when I was a kid. <laughs> and um, it's just hopefully got a bit less cheesy since then. That's <laughs> like got a now. bit of the cheese element. Yeah, I like them. Where do you get your inspiration to write songs? Because do you write your own songs? Mm -hmm. Where do you get the inspiration from? Um, people I know, situations I'm in. Most of it's personal. Sometimes I just make up a story because <laughs> something comes to my head. <laughs> most of the time, just, yeah, mm. people I know. And you play the guitar also. Mm -hmm. When did you start playing the guitar? Um, about seven years ago. Okay. So. You wouldn't know it, but... <laughs> <laughs> and did you have training for that? You went. Yeah, I had a few different lessons. Yeah, I had a lesson with one of my dad's friends and then a lesson with another guy. Uh, like, a bunch of lessons with both of them. And there's a song that you've written about cicadas. Mm -hmm. Do you have a fascination with them? Where do you oh, come up with yeah. song titles and stuff? Um, well, you, you come up with song ideas from... Well, that one's from cicadas. That started off as just like a... It didn't, wasn't supposed to make any sense. Like, Is I it your favourite insect or something? Oh, or? definitely. Really? Why is that? Have such a fascination. Mm, yeah. Because yeah. they're great. They come out, of, they live in the, well, a pretty sad life. They live in the ground for about seven years and come above ground for about two weeks and they've got that two weeks to, to breathe. Who inspires you? Um, it's people that um, make, you know, do it themselves and spend a lot of time perfecting their craft and work hard at something and don't get get an easy run sort of thing. And what's coming up for you in the next 12 months? Next 12 months I'm gonna try and get an album ready. I've just got a band together so we're gonna, I'm gonna start playing with a drummer and a bass player and rock out a bit more. Cool. And yeah, hopefully just get the album together and get that out. If I'm consumed 